finish welding our little uh, piece here to cover up the hole. As you can also see, I'm not the best welder in the world. I just bought my welder a few months ago, so I'm really just a beginner. And it looks like my bead here is just way too thick, but once we scuff this up and uh, give it a good paint job and then stick the engine right in front of it, um, I think it'll be fine. But, uh... As you might have guessed it, I was in the process of cutting the new grommet hole for the Ford um, for the Ford wiring harness here, and I'm just testing before we, you know, cover everything back up and paint that uh, that the plug does go through it. So it looks like we're good. So I'm just gonna deburr this, and uh, and then a little paint there, cover up the scuffs, and we're good to go on this side. I'm back out of this morning. Surgery under the hood's almost done. We've got those corners at the firewall that have been cut and patched, and then we've got the grommet hole for the uh, Ford wiring harness that's uh, cut and ready to go. Uh, just a few more little things to do, and the surgery under the hood is completely done. So all the surgery uh, required under the hood is pretty much complete. We've bent this lip up here to make room for the radiator that goes underneath. We've cut off the little tabs here that used to hold the old radiator. We've cut our grommet hole over here for the new uh, Ford uh, wiring harness. We've cut the corners over here to make room for the engine block and then welded a plate to cover the hole. We drilled a couple holes to install the coil and we cut the little tab there because uh, we don't need it anymore and it just kind of gets in the way. That's pretty much all that was required under the hood, and although it seems like nothing, it did kind of take me probably a day and a, like a good day to get all this done. <laughs> 